So now the problem is, is we want our program to continue asking for the first name if they enter a first name that's invalid. Right? Um, but if they enter a first name that is valid, then we want the program to continue. So in order for that to happen, we need to use a loop. And now what kind of loop do we use, a for loop or a while loop? Well, we talked about this earlier. A for loop is when you know how many iterations. A while loop is when you don't know how many iterations. So do we know how many times the user is going to enter in the first name poorly or in a way that's not valid? No, we don't, right? So we want to use a while loop, okay? Now, this is the block of code here that we need to iterate, uh, execute over and over and over again if they enter in a poor or invalid first name. So I'm going to go ahead and indent all of that, go to the top of it and say while, and I'm just going to say while true in this case. Right? And what does while true do? Um, it just iterates forever. Okay? So it iterate forever, which means inside the body of this while loop, we need to check and break. Right? Break means to exit out of the closest loop. So we're here, and this is when we want to break. Right? So if the count is equal to the first name, we're going to break out. And what does break do? It stops the closest loop, which is this one and it will continue our program. Okay. So, but what if it's not a good first name, else, right? Else will execute when the first name is not valid. So here I want to print out an error message and I want to say something like error. And what's going to happen? It's going to say error, it's not going to break. It's going to get down to line 25, it's going to come up to line 9, and it's going to ask them to re-enter in their first name. And the process is going to start over again. Right? So it's going to keep on asking them to enter in their first name until it breaks out because the first name is valid. 